I invite uh, Mr. Aruk Hahlari. Mr. Aruk Hahlari. Okay. Turn on the phone. Okay. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yes. Okay. 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 Is my slide visible, sir? Yes. Yes. It's okay. okay. <clears throat> Okay. 10 or 12 minutes. We can okay, very, uh, very good afternoon uh, to one and all present here. Respected organizers of Summerfield School, uh, host, uh, dear participants. My name is uh, Aru Koklari, and I'm a research scholar in the Department of Biosciences, Assam Don Bosco University, Tepeste Campus, Guwahati, Assam, India. Uh, today, I'm going to present on the topic, uh, uh, articulating the pregnant formation in the interaction between the insect Deuteria confortia and Echolaria trees, a review. <clears throat> uh, Deuteria confortia is one of the principal Lepidopteran pests that has been found to associate with the Echolaria trees. Uh, Echolaria trees are popular primarily for the agrotech production, and uh, it is one of the highly priced product wood in the global market because of uh, widely used in the pharmaceutical industries of flavor and the fragrances market. Uh, it is also called as the god of woods because of uh, it is widely uh, utilization. Uh, its formation involves a complex process of interaction between a plant insect and various microorganisms. Uh, so this insect, Jujera uh, comforter worker forms the principal basis in the formation of the agar root. So what actually does uh, this digital comforter plays a role in, in, in the aquarium trees? So during the larval stage, uh, the digital comforter worker uh, forms a vertical tunnels under the stem of the aquarium trees. So during this feeding pursuit, uh, the, the vertical tunnels are being generated. And as a result, the microbial infection takes place uh, inside the disc tunnels, uh, which are being generated due to the feeding pursuit of the, the larva. As a result, the accumulation of the various, uh, the resinous wood product or the oleoresin takes place along the tunnels that are being generated due to the feeding pursuit or the creation uh, for this uh, activity of the digital converter. So what is its actual role? Uh, its actual role still remain unknown. But what does this uh, digital comforter does or what does it promote in the stem of the aquarium trees? It actually makes the, the quality of the agar root superior in quality. Uh, it enhances its durability and the price of the global, uh, in the global market uh, in comparison to that of the agar root that has been <clears throat> harvested uh, through the artificial and the non-insect infested ones. If you check in the, if you look in the figure three A, uh, this is the actually the initiation point of the 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 larva, where for, by feeding on the cambium portion of the aquarium trees, it starts the the channeling activity under the stem of the aquarium trees. Now, if you look at the figure three B, uh, this is the closure of the 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 initiation point where actually the channeling actually started. So as the tree matures, the closure of the, the tunnel takes place. On cross-sectioning of this, uh, this stem, uh, the brownish color all your regions are being, uh, are, are being observed, as you can see in the figure C. Uh, and these uh, brownish color regions are actually harvested as agar roots, which are then uh, hydro distills and oils are being later used in the pharmaceutical industries. Uh, different flavor and fragrance market. So apart from all the, uh, the aquarius trees, uh, 
Digital Conforta is being uh, found to be associated with number of host trees. Uh, these are some of the host trees uh, where the association of the digital Conforta is being reported. However, uh, the in-depth study about its role or its association is uh, not being conducted. Uh, in Bangladesh, uh, the association of uh, the digital Conforta with the Sonericia epitella is widely being studied, but uh, uh, with other species of the trees, uh, its association has not been uh, studied. Now coming to the interaction, uh, as I have explained already that uh, here I'm probably trying to explain how probably the interaction between the equilateral trees and the digital comforter might take place. So the equilateral trees being an aroma producing plant uh, might release uh, various volatile organic compounds. So the volatile organic compounds have been potential to trigger the activity of the insect. Uh, so on receiving the volatile organic compounds by the digital comforter, the female digital comforter, it might uh, uh, perceive through the olfactory system of the, the insect. So on receiving these volatile organic compounds, uh, this insect looks for the host position or the host location in order to, to, to initiate the OB position or to lay eggs. So on receiving the, before laying eggs, it undergoes a uh, different cycle of orientations or different selectiveness of the, the suitable site in the stem of the accolated trees. So on receiving the suitable site, it lays eggs and the female mode completes its life cycle. Upon hatching, uh, the larva then initiates this, uh, the tunneling activity in the stem of the accolated trees. And as a result, uh, the initiation of the microbial infection starts under the stem of the accolated trees. The, in the, the accolated trees also uh, responds to these uh, herbivore activities by releasing uh, numerous HIPBs or the herbivore induced plant volatiles uh, in order to attract the natural enemies of this, uh, this larva. So as a result, due to the, the microbial infections uh, and the oleoresin accumulates and the tree responds to it by forming all the byproduct, which are later uh, harvested as agar root. So in the present and future perspectives, uh, we can say that the Jujera Conforta is a necessary evil. It is necessary in order to form a superior quality of the agar root, which is widely used in the pharmaceutical and the perfume industries. Uh, so, but uh, however, uh, it remains a major threat because uh, this, uh, the equity, uh, the jujera depends on the tissues of the equilateral trees. So the early infestation actually is a major threat in the equilateral trees because uh, due to the infestation process, uh, the jujera eats up all the tissues of the equilateral plant and sometimes uh, which leads to the death of the young equilateral plant. That's why we can say that in one way it is necessary to form a superior quality of the other road, but on the other hand, the artery infestation is a major threat. Uh, for us, of, that is emancipated through the, uh, the boring activity, acts as an indicator. Uh, it is very hard to, 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 to check the trees, whether it is being infested with the, uh, the Jujera Conforta or not, uh, but the, the frost actually acts as an indicator. Uh, <clears throat> because the, the boring activity usually takes from, uh, from, the, from the downward portion to the highest stem. That's why it's very difficult sometimes to, uh, to, to check whether the tree is being infested with the, with the, the larva or not. Uh, the frost also acts uh, as a nutrient source system in the soil system, increasing the soil in particulars and also the nitrogen content. Uh, the farmer believes that the, the tree which releases a brownish color type of the frost uh, uh, actually yields a better grade of the agar root in the market. Uh, coming to my last topic, that is artificial drilling. Uh, naturally, uh, the incidence of the Jujera conforta is not observed in all the naturally grown uh, Echolaria trees. So in order to overcome this hurdle, uh, the artificial rearing of the uh, the Jujera Conforta might be a key solution. Uh, as a result, uh, we might be able to introduce uh, this artificially reared uh, the larva into the trees that has not been infested by 
the, the G0 converter. Uh, this technique can also be a source of livelihood for many of the, the farmers or the growers. And as a result, uh, this, might, this technique might actually help in uh, uh, like superior quality of harvesting of the agar root. So coming to my conclusion, uh, the Jujuro Conforta should also get an equal emanation of studies with other areas of the research that is being conducted between the interaction between the eucalyptus trees and various microorganisms. Uh, till now, gazillions of research has been conducted in eucalyptus trees, but uh, when it comes to Jujuro uh, Conforta, uh, only a limited number of studies has been carried out. Uh, the superior quality of the agro that is being garnered actually makes uh, uh, the, the digital comfort uh, very, very important. Uh, so we should take initiative and that uh, this area of resource uh, should be carried out. Future studies will help us to understand more about the, the possible interaction or between the insect, plant, and various microorganisms. These are my references. I'm grateful to uh, all the grassroots institutes and the Summerfield School organizers uh, for giving me an opportunity to be a part of this Summerfield School. Uh, this is my first ever uh, uh, a global platform where I'm presenting my, uh, my topic or delivering any lecture. I'm very, very happy to be a part of this program. Uh, I'm grateful to all the participants, hosts, and speakers from various institutes across the globe. Uh, it is indeed a very, very uh, a moment of joy and a moment of uh, happiness for me because uh, in the scientific world, we are all sharing our knowledge, uh, which is a very, very uh, good thing. So I'm thankful to all of you. And thank you so much. Uh, so this is from me. So thank you. Thank you.